Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Elodie from Elodie's Crafting Creations on YouTube and elodie.art.elodie.g uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Today we're going to do two things. I've printed, oops, oh dear. Okay, I've printed uh, these pictures on its glossy photo, pic, um, it's glossy photo paper. And I want to distress them a little bit to make them look a little bit more vintage. And I thought maybe we could use these chalk, um, dry chalk pens. Uh, they're like art crayons, but they're not, um, you know, they're chalky. I can't remember the name. Uh, so anyways, I'm just going to use a little brush just to put a little bit of color everywhere. Uh, I'm putting a bit of blue. I'm going to try to make it look a bit, you know, when you see vintage photographs and they have like these splashes of color a bit everywhere. And sometimes it's yellow, sometimes green, sometimes it's blue. So that's basically what I'm trying to do here. And painting my hand as well. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep on doing this until we come up with something I quite like. And I'm just gonna put different colors and keep doing this. I'm gonna go a bit fast forward um, to show you what I've come up with. So I'm using different colors, some oranges, a bit of yellow, like really a bit of any color. And I think that gives it a nice little touch. I think one way to get more color is to do it with your fingers, of course. And I have uh, used lacquer, hair lacquer, to make sure that the um, crayons don't go anywhere because otherwise it will smudge and go off. Next thing, um, I was thinking of putting a few stamps a bit everywhere to make it look a bit more distressed and I'm using um, some Ranger products. I have these Distress Inks, Distress Oxide and Archival Ink from Ranger uh, Tim Holtz and I was thinking of stamping a bit everywhere and just see how it goes. So here I'm using uh, Distress Oxide and I did forget uh, my 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 little acrylic pad thing so of course <laughs> so I'm just using the pad from my Sizzix <laughs> if you believe it so that's why it's so big and then I'm just gonna use some stamps uh, not actual stamps just like um, you know the stamping stuff they put on stamps and I just thought since I'm gonna use them individually, I could just go and um, just stamp in the middle of all of them. I think it will look quite nice. I'm using a range of different colors. Uh, so this is frayed burlap. Mm, but I think the, I did take out some stamps of the sea because this is still for my junk journal on ocean, sea and stuff but I think just the stamp, like postal stamp stamps <laughs> are better for this. Yeah, I think now we're good uh, with the stamping so let's just cut off the, um, the photographs. And for this, I'm going to use my trimmer to make sure that it's all very straight and perfect. I 
I'm just trimming and I'm leaving a little um, a little bit of white on the sides just to make it look pretty that's amazing and now we're gonna make a tag with these for our ocean journals okay so I'm back. Let's make this beautiful tag. And this is paper I got from Action. And there is a pocket. It's actually vellum pocket, so you can see through, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. And I love this paper. It's so pretty. The other side I don't like so much, so we're just gonna hide it and put stuff on, on it. Well, it's a nice paper on the other side, but it just didn't feel like it was to see worthy for my ocean journals. First things first, let's just cut off the corner. Okay. Let's make sure we know which side we want. Yeah, that looks nice. Because there is this little pink thing that was on the paper. It's not something I did, but I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to hide it with the little seahorse with its tails. It goes perfectly well. So let's just cut these corners here. Okay, next. We're gonna use a couple of papers and we're just gonna Tear some paste some things and we're just uh, gonna glue it a bit everywhere. So we hide the background of this paper. And I'm gonna use liquid glue, like white glue, for my gluing. Okay, next thing, um, we're gonna ink the sides blue so that the background doesn't show so much and it looks a little bit more like the blue from the sea. And I'm just making sure that everything is hidden away where it should be to be able to glue our little vintage picture. I love this photograph. It's like these four women um, caught a mermaid in a nest and it's just hilarious. A hilarious picture. I just love it. So I'm using tacky glue because this is a bit thicker paper and it's a uh, photo paper. So it's a bit different and I'm not sure that white glue or my UHU stick is gonna do it. So I'm using glue a little bit stronger than usual.
looking good next let's do the pocket so for this I got this from Cultura uh, and it's lovely lovely paper with this little silver fishes on vellum and I think it's just absolutely beautiful really happy I got it really happy they had it as well and it was on sale which I didn't know until I went through to pay so that was really really good news and this is some vellum colored vellum paper I bought at extra as well I don't know why I said as well just plain but at extra <laughs> And I'm just going for um, something that looks a bit like the a sea wave. And I'm going to ink the edges because as you can see they're quite white, the edges of the vellum paper. Vellum is a bit problematic because it's really hard to glue. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna sew all around these, both of these tags, uh, just to make sure that the that the vellum is properly attached to the card and it doesn't come off. And I noticed that my pocket is a bit smaller than on the first tag. So I thought I would just cut off the little edge, the white edge, on my oceanography description uh, definition. And I'm using this glue, which is a bit stronger, uh, to glue my vellum. Because as I mentioned, it's just really hard to glue. Just making sure it's everywhere. And I'm using cloth to remove the excess of the glue. It's a glue that's going to take a while to uh, to set so make sure you don't have any excess that you might not want Now let's glue it to the card, so I'm going to be pretty careful here. And the glue doesn't run off everywhere. Okay, and finally let's glue our little label. This is a label I made, uh, it's all going to, or is available on my Etsy shop, uh, into, it's gonna be in the kit, like the mm, Sea Ocean Mermaid digital kit for gym journals. Awesome, and next we're gonna sew all around there and make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. 
and that it's glued perfectly well. Since this glue is quite, uh, takes a while to settle, I'm just gonna put some pins a bit everywhere just to make sure um, that it doesn't move and that it stays quite glued. And because I'm a perfectionist, I'm just gonna put a lot of them. <laughs> okay, and now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. And while we wait, we can make the little hole at the top there and glue the cloth. In French, it's called the uh, galon. I don't know in English. Um, it's like a piece of lace or just an interesting piece of cloth. So I'm using textile glue to, to glue it. And then it's all gonna be soon um, as I sew the, the tag, so it's gonna be strengthened. Don't forget to put some glue or uh, to burn the edges with the flame so that it doesn't fray too much. Okay, let's just move on to the little hole at the top so for this I'm using my crocodile this is from we are made memory keepers um, I mean I just really like it and I'm doing it one centimeter from the edge and in the middle so since our tag is nine centimeters, I'm just gonna do it at four and a half there, and I'm gonna use uh, the normal setting. Yeah, and I'm gonna take one of these light blue Eyelets. Oh, come on. <laughs> awesome. All right. Next up, we need to ink the edges. You've probably noticed uh, when I showed you the little hole thing that you can really distinctly see that the cardboard I used for this is white in the middle and it's very visible, very, very visible. So we're gonna use some blue distress ink uh, to remove this. Um, gonna be a bit less conspicuous and just gonna look grand and then we're gonna glue this lovely 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 little seahorse and I thought I would give it a little bit of a different touch you know a bit um, so I'm just gonna use the distress oxide vintage photo to color this seahorse just a little bit so that it stands out from the blue background. Mm. 
Yeah, I um, quite like this idea. Like the other one is blue on a blue background, but there's like this golden area in the background. And ours right now is just, it would be just blue on blue, um, not very interesting. So I'm just gonna put it a bit darker and now we're just gonna glue it. So I'm using white glue for this. All right. Oh, and I thought we could use this. Uh, I found this at... Uh, where did I found this? Probably another thrift shop. I'm not sure, actually. And I thought we could use this. Oh, yes, it was a thrift shop. shop. Um, La Ressourcerie Verte. In Romance sur Isère. <laughs> and uh, I thought we could use this because it looks a bit, you know, like foam, like... Uh, the foam of the waves and I just think it looks super cool so because it's really quite thin I'm gonna use three um, three of them and I think it's going to be amazing I love it. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's really pretty. It's just like sea foam. It's awesome. Okay, so now this should be pretty dry and I'm just gonna fussy cut all around. Make sure nothing... Uh, there's no excess. And then we're gonna sew everything all around here. Yeah, so this is something I just printed. I thought it was really pretty and we can just make a little card of it. Glue both edges together. And that will look amazing in our little pocket. And I really, really like this pocket because it's transparent, so you can't see everything that's at the back. The one thing that's annoying is that it's vellum, so if you don't have a sewing machine, I'm not sure it's going to hold the glue. But do let me know if you manage to find a glue that does hold with vellum. I would be really interested to know. Okay, time to sew now. So this is the first one I made. And now let's sew the next one. So I've decided to go all the way around and not do just the pocket. But just sew all around the tag. Okay, let's remove this. Okay, 
And now we're just going to see around. And I'm using a light brown thread. Uh, it's normal, I'm pretty sure it's polyester or cotton. And I quite like it using this thread because it's not too dark, you know, like black would really impact my my tag, my card uh, tag. <laughs> so I think this light brown is a good compromise. Okay, I'm really really happy with the result. I hope you guys are too. I'm just loving making all this, it's just so cool. Uh, if you like this video, if you like my tutorials and all these other things I show you, please don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to be aware of all my other tutorials that I post. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!